Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got our hands on issue number 40 and we're going to be making the fair and square patch. To make the fair and square patch, you'll also receive with this issue the blue floral, the lemon spot, midnight floral and the coral spot. I'm not a fan of this fabric choice or this fabric combination so I'm going to be choosing my own fabrics today. I'm going to be using the Peter Rabbit licensed print fabric, my own blue floral fabric and a green spot. I've chosen these two fabrics as they have accents of green in them and I think it will bring out the green floral leaf work in the Peter Rabbit licensed fabric. I'm looking forward to making this one. It looks a bit tricky but if you study it very carefully you can see that it's made in three bands so I look forward to giving it a go. So I've accessed some of the templates from my template box which we've used in previous patches but I haven't used the eye template before. I did then photocopy this onto light card and I just cut out the eye template. I've also got the F template which we will need, the B template, the E template and our newly made fair and square eye template. It's time to get cracking and we're going to start cutting out our fabric pieces. So this would have been our coral spot for the E template and I need four of these. I'm going to fold my fabric in half and just cut out the two so therefore I will have four. Next is our B template. I would have used the blue floral if I was using the fabric but I'm using the licensed fabric and I've got some B pieces which I very carefully matched over a certain pattern in the licensed fabric. I've got four of these for our corner sections. I've also used the licensed fabric for the eye template in the center. This is our central piece and I've very carefully put the template over the fabric to have Peter Rabbit smack bang in the middle. Which leaves us with our last template which is the F template. This would have been the lemon spot around the central eye template but I'm using the green spot. We need to cut out four of these so I'm going to cut out two with a doubled fabric. All of our fabric pieces have been cut out. I'm now going to lay out the fair and square patch out in front of me. We've got all of our fair and square pieces set out and it's ready to sew. Time to set up the sewing machine. As well as our sewing machine, I've also set up the iron and our ironing towel. We're going to be pressing the seams after we've sewn them. With this patch, there are three sections or three bands to the patch. I'm going to be sewing the middle section first. 
I'm going to be sewing these triangles onto our middle diamond. I'm going to be doing that by sewing these two opposites first. The first triangle is stitched onto our centre piece. I'm now going to stitch on this triangle, which is opposite. Both of the triangles are stitched on. I'm going to give our seams a press. I'm now going to stitch on the other two triangles. The four F template triangles have been stitched onto the I template, which is in the center. Now for our final press of the larger square in the middle. Now that we've finished the large square of our middle panel, um, to finish the middle panel, I'm going to be stitching on the E templates on either side of our large square. So our centre panel has been finished and I'm going to be working on the top and bottom panels next. For both panels, I'm going to be sewing the B templates on either side of our central rectangle. Our three panels are stitched together and it's looking good. It's time to stitch the top panel to our centre panel and then the bottom panel to the other side of the centre panel. So we're all stitched together and it's time to pack away our machine 
and give our patch a final press and I'm crossing my fingers that all the points meet up. So here we have our completed fair and square patch. I've used my own fabrics and I'm really happy how it turned out. It is a little bit wonky donkey as these points here don't match, but the piece in the middle turned out really quite nicely. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed making your fair and square patch. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. I look forward to seeing you next time when we make the windblown square. Until next time, bye!